Hello everyone, good evening, welcome back to Western Australia. How are you guys all doing? Nice to have you here for another evening on the server. Very excited to uh, give you a bit of an update on our 10 million litre challenge. It's uh, it's progressed, which is cool. But firstly, evening to everyone who's here. Go through and have a look. A look. We've got Chinook, Corkner and Mick here tonight helping us out. Uh, but of course, Yoren, sorry you can't make it tonight. We'll, uh, we'll won't be the same without you. Yoss, how you doing? You're saying you could have joined. Why aren't you then? You should be. Carspot here doing Chris1969 is in the house. Welcome along. Hello everyone. Hope you're all doing well. Who else's name do I miss up top? Kerm, he's floating around. How you doing mate? And Ryan, good to have you here as well. Carspot. Howdy howdy. Right. What's going on? Hope you guys are all doing well. So, I was going to say, I've been sitting in here for a while because uh, letting things load. But we down on 17, we're going to go down and do some harvesting soon. Uh, we've got a contract down there As you can see the guys have sort of cut open the field and got it into some sort of shape we've actually bought field 15 which has got corn in it which is awesome um we were discussing i reckon we'd get rid of 22 it's so far away from the yard and i was suggesting we buy 10 because then it's right over the road um but then i saw it was on it it's full of sugar beet at the moment so maybe nine maybe nine or five could be a good one to buy because it's close nine would be better because then it's midway between the um shop in our yard so oh and saying that five might be better because then it's there because most of it's going to be going the silo and nine would be good if the contract so anyhow that's the plan i'll see where we all end up david did i miss your name nice to see you welcome did i get your message uh, no where did you message me not sure you're scared to join Yoss. You'd be fine. You vote for nine, Corpner. All right. Well, we don't need to do it tonight. We'll uh, worry about that later. But anyhow, um, oh, what was I going to do? I was going to show you our progress. So if we go and jump in here, we've ticked over 10 million litres of barley, uh, which was awesome. So we had uh, the guys in here the other night and managed to get that finished out, finished off, which is cool. Um, so that's one more ticked off. So it's actually, apart from straw, that's our first one done. That's actually our first one done. I thought wheat would have done it, but no, there we go. Barley. Barley it is tonight. So that's pretty cool. Uh, what are we harvesting? Let's have a look at that contract. We're actually harvesting barley, so not that we need the extra, but we'll go and uh, we'll just go and carry on that. You said good afternoon. Oh, good afternoon, Nismo. No, I missed it. Missed it, missed it. Right, let's get to it, fellas. Stop standing around. Always. Chinook's, Chinook's moustache is just disgusting. Corpnut, and Corpnut's got some respectable facial hair, but that moustache, Chinook, just, uh, no, no, no way, no way. Right, let's pop down here and see what's happening. Uh, I reckon I'm going to jump into here and see if it's a grain cart. It is a grain cart. Look, look, they've put doubles on my tractor. Got jewels on my tractor. This is the one we bought last week, I think. It's got jewels on it. Happy days. Happy days. Right. I'm going to drive a grain cart. I don't know what you guys are going to do. Well, we've got a combine down here. I don't know if it's full or not, but I'm just going to have a look. 70s Born Star. Does it what? Tell the boys to get to work. I know, right? Well, that's a nasty little bit of ping lag. Language. What are you talking about? Alright, there we go. Corp is in the combine. Doing is going to carry straight through. Oh no. No, my leg just hadn't caught up with what he was doing. Ugh. Use whichever language you want. Alright, we should. It looks like our cruise control is set up at the right speed. We'll whip up here beside. And good to go. Eden, how you doing? Good to have you here. Welcome. Japanese. I need to. I need to brush up on my German, or rely on having German speakers with me for the majority of 
a farm come weekend. All booked. It is booked. 100% going. It's booked and paid for. I, yeah, I can do the bits and tag. Alfita Zane. Yavol. Oh my knees, my fingers and beer. What? <laughs> two. As in, hold my finger up and say two. Two beers. Don't know if I want to trust you guys throwing anything at me. Where's FSG tonight? Uh, don't know. Don't know Nismo. Probably busy working because he's, uh, I think it's his last work day today before he heads off to PAX for the weekend, so. Probably wrapping up, busy wrapping up loose ends. Zwei Mal Bitter. What's that two, what's Mal? It's, it's two something please, I know that much. How you doing Mrs Professor? Hopefully the stream goes better than the Hunter Indiana video, I was surprised to hear my comment bleeped out. I haven't, that must be on FSG's video. I haven't watched his yet. Did he bleep me out? I did say a course word, but that was more in, uh, more in just general chat with him. I didn't know he was going to use it on me. Jeez. Two times please, right, gotcha. Hey Mark, morning mate, how you doing? Nice to see you. So we've put... Yeah, so we're going to have to empty the combines out going both ways at the moment because that's uh, 33,000 litres. I don't have my, uh, my easy inspector up. Let's go and turn that back on because that makes a huge difference. There we go. Go get Chonok. He's telling me he's at 95%. Sorry, mate. Didn't have the... Uh, didn't have the inspector up, didn't know what you were doing. At least you're not learning Dutch, we like to leave many words out of the sentence. We, we tend to skip sentences in English. And slip skip words in English as well. Speaking of slack, Chinook, look at that, look at that, shame, shame. <laughs> um, that's alright, that's quite alright. So, what is everyone's opinion now you've probably all had a chance to play with the Gorville DLC if you've got it if you've got the season pass or got the DLC be good to hear your uh, thoughts and opinions on it I had a lot of fun doing the uh, video with FSG the live stream with him doing it on multiplayer is actually a bit of fun Had the time to test it yet, Yarn. Fair enough. Good man, Chinook. See? Goes and fixes his mistakes. Haven't watched any videos either. Corp nuts full and he's driving off. Where is let me say there's these four of us. Mick I think was dealing with a truck. There he is. He's done a delivery.
We're all going to fit in one trailer. Go on, go on, go on. Oh, 151 litres. Spit it over there as we go past. There you go. How dare you. The shame of it all. Oh, boys, I'm going to be driving on the crop. This is not good. Not good. Hey, both one. How you doing, buddy? Farmer Ed, good morning to you, mate. Nice to see you. Tired and you're off to bed soon. Fair enough, mate. Fair enough. All that walking around on the field days on the weekend caught up with you, has it? Hmm. Just ski into me. Last month's caught up with you. Yeah, I hear that. I hear you there. Popping in to catch a bit before you go to bed. Hey, Karim, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Danish farmers aren't here. No, they're not, Yoren. I don't know where they are. I'm sure they'll be around. I know they complained about how early it was last time, so I'll probably pop in at some stage. I've been uh, I've been cranking the hours on here though. A couple of hard working hard working men there, that's for sure. Very cool. So when do I go to FarmCon? Uh so I'll fly out of New Zealand on the twenty fifth of June 25th of June I get to the UK on the 26th and then I am going to head up to Edinburgh for three or four days spend some time and hang out with FSG up there and then we are going to fly from there over to Farmcon which is the first weekend of July and then after Farmcon we're going to stay my wife and I are going to stay in Germany for three or four days and have a little bit of a look around the Bavarian area where we are down around Munich and I don't know this is actually was talking about Stuttgart today so I think she's been doing some research on where she might want to go hey Bruce how are you look at all these green names is it? there's no one without a green name all the uh, generous gifted memberships that have come to the channel in the last last wee while No, no hints at all. Don't, don't, don't stop and do anything, Chunuk. Hey, Westy. How are you? Will you do an on-location stream at FarmCon? Um, I'm hoping we're going to do something. Thank you, Chunuk. Gentlemen. Doesn't take no for an answer, that man. Thank you very much for those gifted memberships. Tim 10, Chris, Cameron, Miglot Farms and Holden for Life. Getting those memberships from Chunok. Thank you very much, buddy. You won a membership without knowing, thanks to it. I think you got one on the weekend. Um, Big T Farms gifted 30 memberships on the, on the stream, which is awesome. Um, yeah, absolutely. We'll, well, I don't know whether we'll do an on location stream. It'll depend on what we can connect internet wise Karen but there will definitely be a uh, definitely be some some fun be had I'm trying to stream when at least at the very least when we're staying at FSG's we'll see how we go 
I'm hoping to take my be able to take my laptop with me and laptop and a PlayStation controller and things. We'll see how we go. I like Tim. I do like Tim Tams. That's me. You'll interview. Me. I'll interview you, Yoss. Thank you. You can interview me. Where are you gonna? What are you gonna put it on? No. You probably just put it on the internet. Fair enough. I mean, you just nowhere else you're gonna put it, is it? Oh, you've got that issue at 33%, but it thinks you need to refuel. Chit chats for the win. Ah, oh, more some tan person for me, Bovon. I've got a sweet tooth, though. It is a glitch, should be a tanker on the south side. I think he's found it. On where you're on. That's weird though, yeah. 33% it says it needs to be reloaded. Rush the world again, what are they on about? That's well, when you start saying it's Tim Tams in your gym jams that you really gotta worry. <laughs> Both one. Two green carts up and running now. Should keep these guys moving better. Pull this truck forward. Well, probably have to turn the mother bit on, will we? Looks like it. On it. There we go. Something loading. Perfect. Right, back into it. Love the road train set. It looks good, eh? Looks good. Do I own a farm in real life, West life Westie? I... Indirectly, kind of? My parents do. Um, and my wife's family also have a dairy farm. So, I guess you could say we do, but we really don't. It's not working you. It's not refilling. Nope. What did you disconnect it for? Can't get it to work. You gotta stand at the pump, don't you? you sit at the pump. There you go. I can hear it filling now. like that question on the farms and survey oh if you owned a farm or not yeah it'd be interesting eh? i'd love to see some of the some of the results out of that survey tell them no more play around get the job done that's right <laughs> indeed Nismo. indeed 
well, nice to have you all here this evening. Hope you're all doing well. Make sure you've uh, if you're enjoying things. Make sure you drop a thumbs up on the stream. Do appreciate you guys supporting us that way. It's very, very much appreciated. And cheers. Enjoying a uh, actually quite a big pour of whiskey tonight. That's right. You can't get to the survey link not working. Don't follow the one in the email bovine. Go to um, Discord and looking the farming simulator announcements channel. Um, Pretty see at the front of the trailer that turns the pump on then you can find your equipment. Love that trailer. It's a cool trailer, eh? I haven't used it for a wee while, but um, yeah, it's a great service trailer. Very, very handy. Right. Like Chinook's turned it off. What do you want me to come back for? Oh, you wanted to close the flat. Good man. Oh, there we go. He also's got you as well. Shoot the link. I hope everyone puts down New Zealand or Australia for the next map location. I know it won't be, but they should. Drop the like. Thanks, Westy. Corpnut misses the five minute farmer. I'm working on another one. Corpnut. I haven't uh, haven't started recording it yet, but I'm getting one set up. I'm going to be away for about a week over Easter and after Easter with school holidays and things like that. I was actually expecting to be away for 10 days or more, but one of the trips has been cancelled, so... Um, but I thought 5 Minute Farm would be a good thing to fill that void. Is there a map for Queensland, Australia? Not for Queensland that I know of, Westie. Um, the New South Wales, Victoria and Western Australia all have representation. And uh, Hox23, who made, made the Southern Cross Station map, is working on another map at the moment. Um, it's a map that's been around since that he first made it for Farming Simulator 11. Um, which he's bringing through to 22. So he's making some good progress on it. Stop Chinook. And uh, hopefully we'll get a look at it here on the channel at some stage. Be pretty cool. Yeah, that's, surely that's enough for you to get started again. They have big fields in New Zealand. Um, most of New Zealand, I'd say, is more more like European farms, but there is some down in the Canterbury area. There's some big arable farms down there. Um, some areas do. There's sort of a good assortment, but definitely down in Canterbury, there's some big farms, big fields. But most of the rest of New Zealand, I'd say, is sort of pretty pretty average size. That's because a lot of farms, I'd probably say, are uh, mixed arable and, and animals, so and they have crop rotations and things like that for animals versus um, crops, so a field that might have crop in it one year will be grass for the next four or five years. All part of the soil management. So, but five months as a member, thank you very much for that, appreciate it. Appreciate you being here. Sorry farming, I've told the guys that that's not okay. I'm at the mercy of the combine drivers unfortunately. Hey Aussie, how you doing mate? Good to see you. It's night in Queensland, yes it will be at what, 7.30? 7.25? Is it? Or is it earlier? Because you guys haven't um, 
You haven't transit, have you? Don't have daylight savings, do you? Be right back, your coffee machine is calling you. Just tell it to take a message. Mr. Crofter, long time no see, and he's coming in with five gifted memberships. Welcome, mate. Thank you very much for those. Very much appreciated. Tim, TC Agri, Minotaur, Timinada, and Farmer Taz getting those gifted memberships. Thanks, mate. How you doing? Nice to see you. Keeping well, I hope. 6.25, so you are three hours behind. Nice work. Your own's angling for the old coffee, eh? Nice. Hopefully you're going to be coming to Queensland later in the year, or at least the Gold Coast. Then spend a week over there for a football tour for one of the kids. Well, both of them, uh, no, there's only one of the kids. They're both going to come, but only one of them's doing the football side of things. So that'll be nice. Be a bit of a jet setter this year, after no travel. When was the last time I was overseas? 2019. Alright, we're full. to be pretty on our toes here because these trucks are going to fill up pretty quick. Well we've got three trucks here if we're smart about it three of us can go and run them all down at the same time. Has Chinook sorted out your first class travel yet? Not at all farming, not at all. No we are uh, we are all booked on Qatar, we're flying through Doha. emptying. I'm going to grab this tractor and pull it forward. That one emptying out as well. The tractor's, yeah, the tractor's pulling, that's for sure. Definitely a fair bit in these grain carts. Hey John, how are you mate? Good to see you. I'm doing well, thank you. Doing well. Family's all good. Thank you for asking. Combine Chunuk is 78 percent. He's right next to me. Perfect timing. How are you anyhow, John? You doing well? Last time you were overseas was 1984, Aussie. Wow. Missed a bit, Chunuk. Actually, what's all are these misbits? I think it's not our crop. I thought I was going to get here in time, but nope. Ooh, slow down. Get back to normal. Terrible service around here, isn't it, Yoram? Terrible service. I mean, what's Yoss? A few kilometres away from you? Still can't get your coffee. Oh, 04 in Iraq for you, Courtney. It wasn't really a holiday either, was it? Hey, Crofter. Good bud, just busy renovating new house, hence your absence. No, all good, mate, all good. Hope that's going well. Be keeping you busy, I'm sure, I'm sure. Yeah, 
Yeah, so that's the one concession we've made for the server is uh, having the faster combines. On here, Westy, just to uh, just to get things progressed. Otherwise, we'd be here forever. We were going to use course play initially, but uh, it actually caused some server issues. So we concession having the faster equipment traveling. It's about doing about double the normal harvesting speed. No point complaining, no one listens, hey eh, John? The goods, goods you're not too bad. In all fairness, in Dutch terms, a 30 minute drive as far, fair enough. Thanks Westy, pleasure having you here mate. Got one heck of a tan though. That's one way to put it I suppose. will be uh, definitely looking forward I'm, I'm actually gonna I was thinking about putting a counter up on the screen for um countdown to farmcon count down the number of days till farmcon you're happy when it's only 30 minutes I can get I can get into the very middle of the city I live next to and it's a 10 minute drive to the city center and I live in the country it's bliss Absolute bliss. Wouldn't wouldn't change it for anything. Yeah, if I didn't have been here. Uh, yes, no, I wouldn't be saying that if I had bad bad internet. How many is it now to FarmCon? Uh, so FarmCon's the first week in July, so we've got what? April, April, May, June. So three months and change. Cheers, Kiram. Thanks for stopping in, mate. Please, you could uh, stay up and hang out for a little bit. Oh yeah, it's, it's going to be a while, Aussie. At least by the time that comes around, I'll have forgotten about the pain of paying for it. Masterton is a nice place to go. Masterton is nice. That's where we're going to be. Oh, just out of Masterton, that's where we're going to be spending Easter. Over there on the family dairy farm. Guess I could uh, go into a. a Dairy farm video. Take you to the take you to the cow shed. Watch the cows get milked. Gosh, we're not far from having full trucks here, lads. Hey, pro farmer, how are you? Nice to see you. Trying to talk your wife to holiday there for a week for FarmCon. <laughs> nice. Get fresh milk. Do you know it's actually very hard to get fresh milk nowadays, Nismo? Not like you used to be able to. They're right. much more um, serious about their food security and contamination and that, about accessing milk vats. Good. How are we all in here? We're doing well, thank you. Just uh, moving on with the barley harvest here in field 17. We're very excited to show everyone that we'd hit the 10 million litre mark on the barley, so that was nice. Oh, Chinook, I'm going to get told off again for driving on the crops. get to you every time just as you get full have you noticed it's, it's a consistent trend as you get full just as I pull up beside you
You live near the Sydney centre, traffic here compensates distance in the outback. <laughs> Good old Sydney. Hey Josh, how you doing? Good morning. Your sister was a farmer, she gets the fresh milk. There's a, there are still ways to do it, but it's a lot harder than it used to be. You used to be able to just go and open the vat. You used to have a, um, you could turn the tap and everything, but now they're pretty, pretty, um, precious about those. Morning Binks, how are you? Good to see you. Are you using GPS, John? You must be. You are using GPS. It's funny how it misses those little bits every now and then. Right. Makes sense. Uh, you'll be back, you have to go inside for some birthday cake, that's a good reason to go inside. John, I'm assuming BD's birthday. Well, not else, I'm not sure what else it would be. Your birthday, John? Hey. You sneaking a birthday in on us, or is it uh, someone else's? I think we'll just about have to haul all three trucks, to be honest. Changing the old truck setup, we're not the big old five trailer setups, but we've got the big uh, lizard hopper bottoms. And these are the mantred ones by the looks of things. Big capacity, only 20% full, and it's got 48,000 litres in it, which is pretty handy. All right, hopefully, Mick will pull forward. There we go, he's moving out, moving out. It is your birthday. Oh, happy birthday, John. I need to find you the uh, happy birthday song I've played for, played for Yoren. <laughs> On his birthday. Is it Yoren's birthday? I can't remember whose it was now. Someone's birthday. Oh, many happy returns, John. Well, we're going to run out of crop. I think we've run out. All right, I'll leave that running. Jump back in the grain cart. Chinooks. Not sure what Chinooks do. No, oh, he's going back to his combine. You can see him running over in the distance. There's only two full. I thought it, the way the other two filled up, I thought they one filled up a lot quicker. All right. That's nowhere near close enough. Close enough to get a little bit of 
crop out. That's the main thing. I need to update Nightbot, of course, the Gorville is out. Don't have to pre order it now, you can go and buy it straight away. No wait, no delay. Hey, Tim10, how you doing? Good morning. The uh, fortunate recipient of a gifted membership earlier during the stream. I remember that was from Chinical Crofter, one or the other. doesn't want to empty out completely, it's fine. We empty this one out instead and then we'll go and uh, give farming anxiety and drive on the crops again. Nice to see everyone on Pro Farmer, it is isn't it? It is nice to see. Are you going to be joining us? He's in chat. He's in chat. Or are just having a morning coffee or something like that? Let him wake up. Hey Jason, how you doing mate? Not today, you're just getting up. Fair enough mate. Oh good. How are you Jason? Are you doing well mate? Good to see you. I um, had the pleasure of uh, seeing an 8RX in the flesh on the weekend. That was pretty cool. Pretty impressive bit of kit. It was only the small one, eh? It's a 340. But yeah, Bovine's had a busy, busy time, and he's, he's, I think he's watching from bed. Still want, still want the crone mower. There, yeah, the the big M mower was pretty cool to see. Interestingly, there was no combines or anything there this year. No combines, no forage harvesters. Normally, a normally a combine or a forage harvester somewhere, but there wasn't. And apparently, I managed to walk straight past or didn't even see the Gorveal stuff. There was, according to Bovine, there was some Gorveal equipment on one of the stands, which I completely neglected. Wife needs a dry here, and then you're going to be fair enough. Oh, you could have been on the server for an hour by now. Both one. Don't rub it in. <laughs> That's what you did last week, you just about stayed for the whole one though, didn't you? Yeah, I'm going to have an early night, I'm going to have an early night. Still going. Prices are not too many going around. Yeah, I was talking to one of the guys at the uh, the dealer, and he was saying there's only a handful of them in New Zealand. Mainly up the east coast, by the sounds of things. We all got wet feet.
the weight of 240,000 litres of barley. There you go. Who's going to do a calculation? Tell me how much 240,000 litres of barley would... would weigh in pounds. Challenge. I'm actually working on another little challenge. I was hoping I was going to be able to do it on stream this week, but... I'm not sure if it's quite going to be ready. I have, there is 9RXs in New Zealand bovine. I have seen one. There's one on a truck actually coming into into town about a year ago. Um, but I think they're all down in Canterbury. Most of those. Definitely some 9Rs. Oh boy, new challenge yours. Interactive challenge. Don't even need to be in farming simulator. Should be fun, should be fun. But yeah, logging league is less than 10 days away. Next round of logging league. First of, first of April, April Fool's Day. Nearly 530,000 pounds if you work on one to one for in game. Nice. Nice. When are you doing that, Chonuk? Now that's weight farming. 530,000 pounds. Barley weight. What time is after work? You tell me what time it is. Alright, 4.35 o'clock New Zealand time tomorrow. Chinook is going to be live streaming. So what are you going to be streaming? Farming sim uh, flight simulator? Microsoft flight simulator? Flight sim. We're going to be flying domestically Auckland to Wellington. About a 55 minute flight on an A320. Would that be right? There we go, 55 minute flight depending on approaches and departures. Where if traffic control sends them. You have to wait 24 hours for what? Whoa. Oh, that's because it's your first one. Yeah, your first stream you have to be, yep. It's to stop people just setting up a channel and immediately going live and streaming something that they shouldn't. Uh, what time? About 4.30 New Zealand time, Bovine. What program, program am I using to stream profile? I use OBS to record and stream. Um, oh, you're being hilarious, Farming. Um, yeah, between uh, OBS. Maybe for streaming and recording. Pretty sure OBS does everything. Don't use anything else. A little bit of uh, using the NVIDIA broadcast, which sets my camera up, so it's a bit more zoomed, and I can do um, background removal and things like that through it. But mainly OBS. Um, when you guys come back with the trucks, you should park them right over as close to where we're harvesting as possible. So everyone needs to go and watch Chonok stream tomorrow and do their best uh, Top Gun impressions. Either that or uh, be unruly passengers on his commercial flight.
Uh, I'll actually be home tomorrow at that time. I'm going to pick the kids up from school. Alright. <laughs> Should have joined the server by one. Next truck full. I'll try and put the rest of this in at the mother bin. Let's have a look. Mick and Corpnut are both empty, so they must be on their way. I know Corpnut was doing something with dog. Oh no, he's driving. He's doing 29 miles per hour. He must be on his way back. Oh, he's checking on his animals. Here's his Mick, so we'll be back to a full complement in the field very soon, very soon. You hear a hair dryer. Just a ringing in your ears, you're just getting old. How's the lead go? Uh, is he going both on? Is he uh, still sitting in the tractor? I was thinking we should probably only take contracts on now for crops that we actually need. Like we don't, we don't really need the money, do we, for contracts? Nine nine and a half million dollars. We could even. Uh, cancelled the contract now what happens do you get the income from the what you've harvested 440 447,000 pounds converted to the correct barley weight per liter thank you Jason I knew someone would be onto it trying to join but says the 53 foot drop deck trailer pack is unavailable is that off mod hub um, use the link in discord Steve Oh, Lego, Lego, I went to grandma's the other day. Nice. What did grandma think? Yeah, there's some that aren't mod hub. If you use the, if you use the link in the, the pin link on Discord, for all the mods, you'll be able to find it that way. Which will probably be better for you. driving the crops it hurts it hurts me shuffle over mr senior how are you nice to have you here Show you the sun or sunset we had tonight. I can show you that. How uncouth is this? But showing your camera on a phone, look at that. It's tonight's sunset. It's beautiful. And then later on, not that much longer actually. It was looking more like this. 
It's very cool. Lovely evening to be out for a walk tonight. Is that red light? Looks like it, doesn't it, Mark? I was going to say, is that lag or a server save? But it's a server save because everyone's speed dropped to zero. Ah, close enough. Grandma's not techie, so even YouTube would have lost her, let alone who argues is. She would have faked interest though, like a good grandma. <laughs> Nice work. Nice work, Grandma. Could pass this relight though, Mark. Really could. Really could. Hey, Peter, how are you? What are we doing? So, court nuts gone off on the other truck. Not too bad, Peter. Good, mate. Good. All right. Let's spend some time in the combine. Yeah, oh, we just moved everything over here. Look at those horrible tyre tracks. Oh, that didn't turn anything on. Ah. Actually, no, it just won't. Because my shortcuts are broken again. Oops. I just do that. Did too. That's frustrating. Um, 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 um. Fix these. Fix these so I can turn my GPS on. It's so annoying. It's one app which doesn't have any um any any ability. Oh, now I can't remember my password for it. Doesn't remember it's um doesn't remember if you change the short shortcuts. That's what I'm trying to say. Right, settings instead of logging out. There we go. Shortcuts. I'll delete them every time. Delete, delete, delete. There's no option to save them. They're gone now, and I'll be able to turn that on. Oh, it's um, why can't I turn it on now? Okay, I'm stumped now. <laughs> Alt sees my shortcut corp now, but it won't work. Oh, throw my toys. Catch you later, boat. Nice to see you, mate. Um, let's have a look. Can't even turn it on. Guidance steering. Toggle guidance steering. Alt C. Not working. Are those shortcuts not gone? No, I've gone. It's cleared. Ah, uh, I give up. Let's find something else. Oh, goodness. 
Oh, it's not working in this one either. Don't know what's going on. Can't even turn it on in that one. Ah, Steve's here. Welcome along. Try resetting and seeing if there's a conflict. Yeah, I don't know. Please help me. Please help me, Peter. Uh, Pro Farmer. Peter. I'll just go back to drawing grain carts. That is a long sink. Oh, the server's been rebooted recently, hasn't it? Because it's been updating mods. Hey, Holden, how you doing? Nice to see you. This is a chunky one. Hope you didn't break it. No, no, you're all good. There you go. Yeah, um, I will. I'm just figuring out what I'm trying, trying to do. No, nothing. So, what was the suggestion? Someone said, go into here, delete the... Save that. Let's remap it. Oh, my C button, what? Won't do Alt-C. Who knows? There we go. That that fixed it. <laughs> I can use at least use. I'll I'll figure that one out later. Keyboard language. How would I have done that? Uh, let's have a look. It's down at the bottom, isn't it? The setting. Uh, it's under somewhere settings, isn't it? Language settings. Preferred languages. Typing. Language and reading that. Yeah. Oh, England, US. Yeah, I've got English, US. Goodness knows, I don't know. Look at that mess we've got there. Hello, FSG. How are you? Good to see you, mate. Good to see you. Playing the update, that's what you did. But it was working the other day. It was working after the update, Peter. <laughs> Go back in here though. Yeah, I still can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do a dual button control. Oh well. <laughs> Thank you, yes. I just inherited this GPS alignment setting. Thanks, FSG. It was already like that. 
I'm not responsible for that row. I mean, I am, but I'm not. Ah, Mr. Stay Drunk, how are you? Did I miss you joining, or have you just come straight in and said hello to FSG, not me? I see how it is. Fixing up. Oh, my row of shame. Shameful, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Sod off, FSG. You go to PAX and enjoy yourself. So that was a, that, that's lay, yeah, that's weird, what's going on. Missed me earlier, been here since you started, so <laughs> my apologies, my apologies, Grant. I would have just gone with that, yeah, I like FSG better because you ignored me at the start. <laughs> I didn't. That's because it's old. Because I, you know why? Because I pressed Alt to turn the lines on and off. That's why that was doing the funny thing. Oh my goodness. Because when I was doing, when I was doing Alt and L for the lines, it was turning GPS on and off. Because that's what the shortcut is now for Alt. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Yoren. Oh, goodness. Who is this guy? Does he even know what he's doing? When I filled out the farming simulator survey today, I actually said I've played 10 hours of farming simulator. Less than 50. Feels like it at the moment. But we're having fun, and that's the main part, isn't it? Having fun. Actually, I wasn't far off being aligned, though, was I? It's not too bad. Anyhow. That's annoying, I'll have to try and fix that one. What's fun? Fun is what we're going to have at FarmCon, Yoss. FunCon. <laughs> FunCon? Exactly the right profile, and have fun and play together. Anyhow, I wasn't apologising to FSG, I was apologising to Grant. So you got much to do at work, and I suppose you got a busy day to be able to take a few days off, have you? The FSG's leaving me again this weekend, leaving me to do all the work at Hunter. Probably another, another solo arcsy special next week. You can do it, Steve. You can do it, Steve. Still traumatized from this week, you need a week off. <laughs> uh, was a bit like that. From the highest of highs to the lowest of lows. Ooh. Oh, oh, that's right. Clip to header.
Holidays are part of planning. Yeah, we'll make it to the end, Steve. You pull in and we'll do a Yui. Our GPS can line up on this one. Perfect. Longer pipe or narrower tyres? Yeah, longer pipe, I think, would be the go, John. I don't know if we can get a longer pipe, though. I think we've got these headers, um, which won't go any, any different. All right, you go, Steve. Hook it on that row, Steve. Straighten her up. Bob's your uncle. Perfect. How's things with your family, FSG? I've been probably traumatised by the fact that, that Args and Mrs. Args are going to come and stay for a couple of couple of nights in a, a few months. I'm probably having to mentally prepare for the uh, trauma that will be. The excitement is real. <laughs> the buzz is real. You're quite right. She's already looking at restaurants. <laughs> Have you talked her into coming over to Germany though yet? Yeah. You're looking at distilleries. <laughs> Perfect. That's right. I think Mrs. Argsy spent half her day at work today with one of her workmates looking at things to do in Germany. She had one request. Can we go on the Autobahn? <laughs> They're proving a bit more difficult. Mrs. Uggs, you need someone to hang out with. She'll love it, it'll be a blast. Weekend away, no kids. Do what she wants during the day without the husband. Be bliss. <laughs> You're not selling it here, Yoss. No, no, for when we're in Edinburgh, Yorin. The first part of the trip. Can't go all the way to Scotland without checking out a whiskey. Autobahn not for the faint hearts. She she would not have any concerns with that. Then she was <laughs> then she's like, could we rent a Ferrari? I was like, we're in Germany, you wouldn't rent an Italian car. What's going on with that? <laughs> we'll just do it in uh, Jason Statham's name, we'll be fine. Just take normal. I hear that some of the farm Connors are going to raid the real Clarkson farms afterwards. Is that right, Grant? Not everyone's driving insane. Take if he's choosing three could do with an earring. <laughs> It's my header. Of 
quick, quick, quick. You're too slow. You're just fart assing around. Farting around. Use my language. What are you mucking around at, Chinook? My DJ was talking about it the other day. Is that alright? Hey, Scoop Steve, how are you? It's been a while. How are you, buddy? A few times I've been, they must have thought, let's get John. <laughs> Did you not see the target you had on the back? Good scuba, good to hear. How have our GPSs end up so like, far out of alignment? Well, nice to have you all here this evening. Hope you're all enjoying the stream. Having a good time. If, if you are, make sure you drop a thumbs up on the video. It's very much appreciated. So, how far through are we? Well, knocked a bit more out. There's still a long way to go to get across this field. 24, so we've done a quarter of the contract just about. That should be about right. I mean, not another quarter, a bit more off there and a little bit extra left over. So, yeah, makes sense we're about a quarter of the way through. Reckon we can get to uh, maybe 30% before the end of the stream. In fact, a few more trucks to live it'll push that number up a bit. Same for FSG, I don't know if you're still listening. How quickly logging links come around again. Less than 10 days again already. Next weekend. Not taken long at all. Looking forward to it. Good. We've started eating highlights. Might end up doing some of it on the plane. Yeah. Good call. Good call. Going the wrong way, Chunuk. Uh, who's in the other? Go on, um, I'm pretty much empty. Oh. Shimbuck's not going to take, he's not going to fill up very quickly. He's only doing those skinny rows. Yeah, what's the biggest header for the John Deere combine as it unfolds into its own header trailer? I think John's right. It's a, f it's a 45 foot, 13, 13 meters. Is that 45 foot? I think it's the biggest one I've seen that folds out into its own trailer.
Are there any new teams or individuals for logging league? Uh, not for this round, I don't think, Mrs. Professor. I think we've probably... Um, I'd say we've probably got our teams and individuals all locked down for this season. There's still room. If anyone wants to join, they're always welcome to. Um, but yeah, for now, I think we're probably resetting about where we'd expect to. But it's good. You know, starting to see some real competition coming through from them. And uh, excited to see what else comes. How long does it take us to set up the Logging League before we go live? Um, we're normally on in a chat for about an hour, about an hour beforehand. Scuba Steve, just to make sure everything's sorted. But we've got the so Farmer Hamish has done all the hard work setting up the servers. Um, basically, he has a save backup that once we've finished playing, well, we've got two servers now, so he sets it up on one, and he sets it up on a single player game, and then uploads the save to the server so we just have to do that twice or we can set it up um, so one server is already pre-configured for the first three or four matches oh I've got that ref that gosh that emptied out quick is that 33% it is 33% um is that there yes. yeah so we just we just flip between servers uh so it's all pretty pretty easily set up Would you hold fashion but for giants put as much effort into improving gameplay as they do into logging we'd all be better off we could we could argue whether locking's farming until the cows come home with a lot of different different takes on it um but it is what it is these are lots of things they could do to improve the game. I mean, we were talking about it on stream on the weekend. Is you take every uh, every mod that FSG had in his recent video and said, let's add all of those into the game, how much better the game would be as a result of them. But... Oops. We're stuck with where we are. Can't do much more. What's that? Fill out the survey. Tell giants what they, what you like. Uh, what's our command to turn this on? Go. It's up and running. We hop into here, and we're filling up. Happy days. Your cows are already home, so you win. Nice. Dude, Nader was missing in that top 22 of history. It was actually interesting. I was saying, Yoss, I've got I've got a list of my top 25. I've been meaning to do something on, and uh, quite different to uh, Ephesians. It's quite interesting. drove away while I was only two-thirds full. Oh good Corp, thanks for hanging out mate. Pleasure having you here as always. Give you a spe sneak peek. Speak preview. Of my list. Where it is. Let's see if I can find my list. In here somewhere. Top 25. Scripting gameplay. Um, when you see my list and exactly how many I had is even more impressive. There you go. So it's 
So additional game settings, easy dev, relight, dusty lands, exhaust extension, AI tire tracks. Course play, auto driving, guidance steering. So I've broken them down into different settings. Like these are just basic, simple quality of life stuff like appearance ones. Then you've got ones that help with playing and then ones for like, I guess, create fields, paint and terraform anywhere, your store deliveries, maintenance settings, mobile workshop. Um, you know, well, I suppose those kind of landscaping and maintenance ones. Then you've got the ones that relate to more your production and those kind of things. I've linked those into the production and vehicle inspector into two into one by production inputs, time saving stock check, universal auto load, unit convert. And then the better contracts, the refresh contracts and supply and transport contracts all is one. So there's actually like 30 in here. Additional field info, lease to own, dry corn and hydrous because that's two. Passenger extension and advanced farm manager. And then I had these 10 or 11, which kind of little honourable mention ones, but I didn't use quite so much. Although field lease should probably be in there. I use that quite a bit. Anyhow, there you go. Uh, which button am I pressing? That one there. So have you seen the inner workings of my head? You did cover part one, I agree. We were talking about it the other day, weren't we? They are all scripts, Yoss. Hey Steel Horse, how you doing? How cool would it be if all of those were base game? That would be pretty epic. Like the mod manager type thing, Aussie. Yeah. FSG mod assistant. There you go. This thing's fantastic. So good. I'm out of date too. I think it's updated since then. 1.71, which is so good. So handy. Lots of great options in it. <laughs> new favorite mod is the object hider yeah I'm, i was i was impressed to see that coming back too oh what am i 100 full pay attention um i did a video on it a while ago aussie odd late last year actually when it first came out you should go check it out right oh, what's everyone doing Most popular ones most probably come in the next game, which seems to be the way that, yeah. I mean, there hasn't been that many from, a lot of those are from FS19. And they haven't come through. I don't know. I don't know if that'll happen or not. What it'll, it'll depend on a lot is their, I think, will be how far giants stay with past-gen consoles. They look past that and bring through some of the stuff from, um, and focus more on the PS5 and Xbox, whatever it is, one. I can remember which way around they do this because they make it confusing. How good is it that, like, you look at the mobile version though, Yoss is going to have productions in that. That's actually pretty cool. Much as you joke about, please make full switch. I can already see me spending lots of time on the flight over to the UK playing FS23 on switch. Yeah, base game would be GPS. I agree. Even if it was simply setting it up on a, you know, setting up on a heading angle, even if you can only do it on five degree increments rather than A and B lines and all the complicated stuff that comes with the PC one. FS23 will have auto loading logs. Will it? Are you speculating or you know it will?
sit in the post. So you're speculating that what they're saying is true then. Your speculation, your stop spreading rumours, lies and falsehoods. You know a few things about the farms I've used. Don't know how. You know what, I had a really good idea, actually Yoss, you know what would be really cool? A logging link website. The mobile version had deliveries years ago and auto -log logging in FV16, did it? I didn't you do any logging in 18, mobile version. Watch the Heston Bale support and base game. Yeah, that's definitely missing, isn't it? If only I knew someone that did websites. If only I knew someone that's half made a website and he's waiting for other people to write the content for it. Yoren, that's probably the more critical part. Sean, from the Giants blog tutorial mode, AI helper and a new auto load feature for logs, pallets, assist you. There we go. Got the facts. Right there. Alright, let's head back over here and knock out this little chunk. Actually, Yoss, has your uh, your big project you've been talking about, did that finally go live? I'm sure you told us last time it was about to drop or be released or launched or whatever you want to call it. It did. Nice. That would have been a milestone worth celebrating. It's funny actually, I was, um, I've been building my using Squarespace to do a website for rebrand, well for our office for a rebrand for my business. And I was sitting in a meeting this morning and use chat GPT to write all the about and all of the working with an architect page and it did a pretty impressive job unfortunately it knew nothing about me when I asked it to write a blurb about me Is it co according to chat, G chat GPT I don't exist I feel like I've been forgotten over here. But no one cares. I'm Roronry. Steve's got me. Steve's got me, Chinook. Don't worry about it. Don't you bother yourself. said be careful they always want the impossible <laughs> uh, that was actually interesting Yoren it was pretty cool I think I should put something like uh, write the about section for a bespoke small architecture practice which is client centric or focused on client requirements or something pretty cool Use GPT for the logging league if he's too busy. Yeah. Actually, wish we could. I could do that. What it should say, Yaren, is they have some wonderfully splendid ideas, but no one's prepared to help them realise them. It's too hard for anyone else. <laughs> it's not how we normally do it why would we do it any other way just because you had an idea to do it that way doesn't mean we should do it that way this is how I'd normally do it let's do it that way that's not how it's drawn it's not what the person's paying you to build do it the way it's drawn If 
funny there were skillful models about who might be able to help giants. Yeah, use chat GPT to write contracts in UK law and our clients is bang on. Oh, it was impressive, like, you know, I I asked it to write the describe the architectural process working no describe the process of working with an architect in New Zealand. And it picked up some nuances which are, you know, specifically New Zealand focused and uh you know, cover them off. It was pretty magical. Wells is I'm not gonna lie, that was actually pretty impressive, Chinook. <laughs> I haven't yet no, I haven't yet FSG. I do need to try that one out too. <laughs> it's coming in hot. <laughs> uh oh, farming's freezing. Let's be your end farming. My end is buttery smooth. Can't see any risk in getting an hour bot to write contracts. No, none at all. In FSG's defence, I know he's had them checked. But, aren't you better off paying a legal person for 30 minutes of their time to check something that someone else wrote, that an AI bot wrote? Yeah, read this draft contract that I wrote and uh, tell me what you think. See, one hour in. Smarter, not harder. Kind of like using AI to drive everything on farm sim, really, isn't it? That's how the bot sucks you on your PSG. Well, I gotta show you. <laughs> it's only 545 pounds. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> you had to rewind that. Oh, yeah, that was pretty impressive, John. I gotta give you credit for that. Gotta, gotta agree with that one. Uh, right, let's see if I can do this while I'm driving and trying to line this up. Press that button. So I think I told you all about our robot vacuum cleaner we got a couple of weeks ago. Finally working well. Old Oscar, I've named him Oscar. Um, but anyhow, this popped up the other day. I sent it to my wife. Where is it? And it has the, uh, the old Terminator down the bottom. So it begins. <laughs> Vacuum robot. Vacuum robot eats sleeping woman's hair. Is that not the, be <laughs> the best headline ever? Uh, it's freezing the odd time. Blame the weather. Yeah. Like I said, all good on my end. Interesting. This is much more fun harvesting a little, a little section like this. I feel real progress. Take my little postage stamp out. And then when the Danes get on they can't complain and blame me for leaving little bits of crop all over the field.
What did I say for you to say? Yeah, because that goes well. Thanks, G. What did I say? Right, anyone who has only just joined, look, we've ticked off 10 million litres for barley. It's done. It's dusted. So apart from the straw, which has been sitting at 10 million litres since about the first week, this is the first actual crop to get past the target, which is pretty cool. Good to tick off. the aliens interfering. Could be. Look, I see everything. Everything's good at my end. Or at least that I can tell. Anyhow, Peter. Barley making progress. Beep. Beep. How far for the next one? The next what? Bruce? Sorry? The next crop to meet 10 million? We've got 9.5 million litres of corn, if that's what you mean. So corn won't be a problem. Um, when we've got that field which we've just purchased, which is all ready to go, and it is full of corn. So that will tick that one off easy. Um, we've got wheat, a couple of fields of canola, and a field of sorghum up there, all ready to, while growing. They, in fact, the two down near the yard are not too far away from being ready to do. So we get those knocked out pretty quick. I've got an even better one for you, Charlie Boy. If you like Farming Simulator, like this video. Drop a big fat thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. Don't forget to tick that notification bell. Get more crops there before we know it. Indeed, we're not going to be too far away, Mrs. Professor. It's, uh, it's been a slowly but surely process, but with some of those fields, I think the next round of harvesting is really going to push us much closer to our goal and probably end up having a crop of some description which we're just going to have fields and fields of to tick that one off. Probably, which one's our shortest one? Uh, still oats, so we're going to end up with a significant amount of oats at some stage. When are we taking on the sugar beets, Peter? We were actually talking about that because I was suggesting to the guys, oh, 
maybe we should get rid of this field down here field right down the bottom here field 22 because it's the furthest one from everything maybe we should get rid of that and i was like oh let's buy 10 it's opposite over the other side of the yard then i had a look and it's covered in beets so <laughs> i said maybe we should actually buy nine so i think we might ditch this field replace it with nine and then it's good position between the yard and the um silos and everything like that i know one field of sugar beets and we'll be done that might be a uh, that's a stretch goal sugar beets and potatoes are a stretch goal once we've uh once we've got all of this done hide and open my auger sorry chimmer too busy looking at other things but yes one field of sugar beets and one field of potatoes and we'd get those done pretty quick cotton's one i'm looking forward to actually i think it'd be pretty cool having a field of cotton and a whole lot of us all running cotton harvesters and dropping bales in the middle of the field oh lie the heat up poplar sugarcane and poplar we have got Mark's beet harvester, John. It has been added. You might provide the popular bay letter to turn corner into Jeff Bales. Nice. next thing we're going to see is someone's going to figure out how to mow and winrow corn so you can bale it with a proper baler that'll be the next one love the honeybee headers could easy to edit the swather for that. Absolutely. Wouldn't be hard, would it? What do we got? One, two trucks are full. Looks like Steve must be off taking one to deliver. And the other one is 58%. I'm guessing Mick's having to jump between combine and combine and grain cut. I'm looking forward to your uh, swathing everywhere pack, Yoss. That's pretty cool. Is that going to be a um? Is that all plat going to be all platforms? Will it be a PC only one? Oh, the triple white headers for the T440. Sorry, John, I understand now. Gotcha. Uh, yes, a screenshot's probably a good idea at some stage. Should have grabbed one before Corp left. But. Two more passes to do down here, but I'm going to be full, so we're going to need a grand cart back. So close, so so close. <laughs> 
So we're not quite, did I, what did I say? We'd get to 30%, percent i not know, before the end of the stream. We're not far off, not far off at all. In fact, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to finish this section off, and then I'm going to jump in a truck and deliver a load. And that will be probably a good place for me to finish, once we've done this a little bit. We'll grab a screenshot, and then we'll take a truck down to the cell point, go and deliver a load, and then we'll bring it back and... We'll leave everything ready for whoever gets on next to carry on. So I'm not quite sure what the plan is for the weekend yet. We'll definitely have a stream on Saturday. Uh, Sunday morning, um, but I'm not quite sure. Not quite sure what we're going to be doing for it yet. Could possibly be back on Chilliwack, doing some work on there, or maybe we'll find another map we could do something on for a bit of a change. Maybe we'll jump on here and do a do a stream at a different time of the day. We'll see. Undecided. Oh, so we can carry on. I don't get good help these days. Even if you're not paying them. Ugh. Whoever's flying Auckland Wellington with Chinook tomorrow would uh, make sure you keep your seat belts fastened the whole time. Just imagine this is how he's going to start his stream. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. Welcome aboard Chinook Airlines for this flight departing Auckland Airport. Heading south to Wellington aboard this A320. We'll be departing to the west, banking gently to the left while we track down the west coast of the North Island with great views as we go over top of Mount Taranaki. We'll be entering Wellington from the north flying on a straight approach into Wellington Airport across the harbour so for those of you on the right hand side of the plane will get a fantastic view. This is my first flight I do recommend you keep your seatbelts fastened at all times. If you see me running down the aisle towards the back of the plane I'd suggest you follow very fast. It's been a pleasure having you aboard Chunuk Airlines and we'll see you again very soon. Thanks for the great stream, need to scream at a few colleagues advisors and sorry but a bit blurry in that last one you're on, I can't quite make that one out, but go scream at the colleagues and advisors. Good to see you, mate. Yeah, go and download the stream channel and I'll let you use that bit of um, voice audio for free. Jokes aside, Chumuk is going to be streaming tomorrow from, on uh, Flight Simulator, his first ever stream, so go along and uh, tune in. I'm sure we'll share a link for it somewhere on uh, on Discord. Alright, let's grab a screenshot team and then I'm going to take a truck down to the cell point. Perfect timing. Get you a coffee now, you're. I doubt it. Thanks, Peter. Nice to have you here, mate. You have a good one as well. One of the reasons you have to scream at them. You might not have done drawings the way I said to, but the least you could have done is brought me a coffee.
Steve, stay here. Steve, stay. Coming back. Oh, he's just getting the next truck in spot. All good. All good. I'll see what's happening. You're back, Westy. Welcome back. Oh. <laughs> Steve got strong there for a minute. I like it. I like it. Right, screenshot time. Let's have a look here. Uh, get that one. Put a flight mode on. Go back into this one here. Turn that off. Go look at that. Beautiful. What have we done since you left? We've just carried on harvesting, Westy. Got about a third of the way through the contract. There you go. So, what do we start over here? So, we've made it a decent wave across the field. Not bad at all. There you go. Oh, F1. Jump up in the air a little bit. I'll go put the heater down. Hang on. Hang on. Ah, oh, that's right. It doesn't go down if you hop out, does it? There we go. Look at that. What a good looking crew. Uh, where's my HUD visibility? Oops. Not that one. No, that one. No one needs to see that. No one needs to see that moustache. But there we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Right, I am going to hop in a truck and take that down to the cell point and that'll be us done. So, on the rig over here. It's a pleasure having you here tonight, Steve. At least you're able to join. All right. some tarps let's haul this out I mean she got quite a bit of a drive in front of us I think it's a wee way down to the cell point especially she's struggling so these have about the same capacity that the five trailer grand car uh, trailers that we had last time had so not too much difference In cab, in cab, you reckon? We can do that. It's a bit of a drive. It is going to be a bit of a drive. I mean, it's easy going in cab in these trucks because they're such a good-looking truck. Hey, brittle, how you done? Good to see you. Lovely. Lovely. Now I actually need to, I saw uh, Gadook was streaming in uh, Western Aussie today and he was talking about the 10 million litre challenge so I have to actually see how they're going. I haven't seen for a while. Are their servers progressing?
think they may be beating us. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me, Jason. I've probably spent more time focusing on crops than contracts, so contracts earn us money, but they don't actually get that much towards our target, so I think now with nine and a half million dollars in the pool in the fund, we should probably uh, focus a little bit more on that. I also don't know how many day months they have because we're on five day months. Five day months? It might even be longer. I don't know. This is going to be dangerous. We're going to crash while I'm doing this. Yep. Oh, I got nervous in for a second. Wait, it's five day months. Thank you, Chinook. Hurts to take all that hard earned speed off the truck by braking. I've got quite a few crops over 10 mil, only two or three to go. Uh, have they? Oh, it's impressive. I'll be impressed if they have. following along behind us to put our inspector back on. Now chunks on the other one. Tell me about Dagger and Westy. Have I heard of him? What does he do? from being the uh, godfather of farming simulator YouTube channels. You'd be pretty you'd be doing pretty well to have not heard of Dagwin, I must admit. Exactly, yours. Oh, junction breaking. Junction looks right behind us. Let's see him in the mirror. Has he got a more powerful truck or something? What is this? Sucks for you that I've got the inside line to the left hand corner up here. Oh, yeah, he is going to go for it. <laughs> I knew that. As soon as I saw that second entrance, I thought, oh, I've gone and cooked myself. Don't collab with them. I've got an even better British based YouTuber that I do collabs with, Westy. I don't know, I'm following you. I'd believe it is. Yes, yes it is. I wasn't, I didn't know enough about the entrance there Jason, I didn't realise I could do that, otherwise I would have been much more, uh, much more aggressive on the entrance, I was trying to slow right down and hold him up.
Now he does what Argsy does. Who? Who does what I do? Just predicted I just couldn't tell it fast enough. I reckon I'm going to be the one with the privilege of taking us over 30% complete. Let's see. Let's see if we can take over that 30% complete mark, which is what I said we'd do by the end of the stream. <laughs> Ditched you for Mr. Silly P. <laughs> Thirty percent. There it is. Got it. Nailed it. I can I can leave content in my day's work now. I mean, I, you know, if, if Mr. Sealy P came and said Argsy, what do you reckon? I mean, it'd be pretty hard to say no. FSG, you do know that, don't you? I mean, it wouldn't be a permanent change, but, you know. You've only been with me for two of the last five weeks. I feel like there's uh, a lot of give and not... A lot of take and not much give in this relationship. Right. Pull back and uh, we'll be done. Let's go... Be a bit of a faster trip back without any weight in the trailer, so you can already tell how much faster we're going to go. Covers on. Happy days. Don't get caught out going left there because you can't get out. Feels like you should. You think if he's just cheating on me? <laughs> you reckon, Grant? The bromance is over. Can't be over. It's got to last till at least July. You love the Hannah collab. Well, it's a uh, it's it's a touchy subject. We try not to mention it, Westy. How much does the trailer combo hold? I think it was two hundred forty thousand liters. There's a wedge being driven, being driven between us. Uh. Hundred and twenty thousand per trailer, yes. Two forty. Two forty for the lot, and you know, deer can just run through the truck and it doesn't matter. There's deer everywhere. All wildlife central along here. It's all the corn. You got the green corn on that side, you got the uh mature corn there on the left. So this one's this is the um underbelly trailer by Mantrid. It's a mod hub one. I'm pretty sure it's for all platforms as well. What's my favourite tractor? John D eight eight RX. Cliche, I know, but they are a uh, just a fantastic looking tractor. And I'll double down on that after having seen one in the flesh on the weekend. Quite impartial to a fent. Actually, didn't mind. I saw they had the um. I think I showed you guys the other day, but hey, they had this Ultra. The you know it's in the small tractors. Where is it? This Ultra, the G series. They had one of these at the field days, and uh, with that that paint color and everything, it looked awesome. That paint it just looks so good. If I ever get round to it, I will put a video together. Might only be a little five minute vlog, but I'll put something together of my uh, my visits to field days. 
Oh, he's checked out. Alright, we can see the field, see the equipment, and we're back. Look at that, we've gone a uh, dozen minutes overtime. All for the satisfaction of getting 30% complete. Your favourites are Ferguson T20. Nice. Sounds like a little old track to Westy. I might be mistaken, but what it sounds like to me. Alright, well ladies and gentlemen, we are just going to park up here, and uh, I think that'll be us done. Thanks, Mrs. Professor. Appreciate you staying up and hanging out and watching. Pleasure having you here. Right, well there we are. So we are 30% of the way through that contract. If I take a quick look in here and go to the details, we've delivered 3.3 million litres, still 8.2 to go. Worked 28.5% of the field. So uh, we're yeah, almost a third of the way through the harvesting as well. Not too bad, but still plenty to do. So if anyone wants to jump in and help, there is uh, lots of tasks always will be on this one but uh yeah like i said i think that's just gonna do it for us today um thanks everyone who's joined chinook uh steve bovine uh, not bovine bovine was here in spirit i know that um corpnut mick and i'm missing a name whose name did i miss out there was five chinook mick argsy steve and corpnut uh, so thanks fellas, thanks for your help tonight, thanks to everyone else who's been on the server over the last week since we were last here and uh, continues to log in and do lots of the mahi, lots of the work, it's awesome to see. Pro Farmer, you're one of those, you definitely deserve a big shout out for the work you and Bondemand get done on here, it's awesome, a pleasure having you guys here. Anyhow, I'm going to go catch you on the weekend, uh, we'll be live on Sunday morning for uh, some more fun. Um, like I said, go check out Chunk tomorrow, go see what he does in uh, Flight Sim, go and have a laugh along with him and... Uh, you know, show some support from the Axie Gaming community. Anyhow, I'm out. Take care. We'll catch you all again very soon. Bye.